this tutorial I will show you how to create watermarks. Watermarks identify that the video was made by you and cannot be copied by others who then claim it is their work. I am going to import two images, one created in an external image editor with a transparent background and a normal image. Drag the normal image into PIP track 6. Click Modify. We are now in the PIP designer and what we need to do is to remove the white background. So check, apply chroma key, click on chroma key settings. Just drag the box over. With the eyedropper, click on the white area. Now as you can see, the white background has disappeared. Just move the intensity level slightly just to try and get rid of some more. OK. And then escape. Now click on Toggle TV Safe Zone. You can change the size of the image by dragging on the handles. Like that. Position your watermark within the TV safe zone. Just drag it down a bit more. Move it across. To adjust the transparency, click on Add Edit Motion for the PIP object. Now move the transparency bar along. That seems good. To save your template, click on Save Current Design as a new PIP object. Enter a name for the custom template. Then click OK. Then you can click OK again. Now drag to the full length of your video. Your watermark will now appear continuously through all your images. I have now placed the image with a transparent background created in an external image editor into PIP track 6. Click on Modify. And all we need to do in PIP Designer is to adjust size and transparency. Click on Add Edit Motion. Let's adjust the transparency. The watermark now appears in the center of the image. And if you're happy with all of that, click OK.